I treat a lot of Crohn's, colitis, celiacs, diverticulosis. I see it all the time in practice. According to the GI Alliance, some 62 million Americans are diagnosed each year with some sort of digestive disorder. Diverticulosis and diverticulitis are related digestive conditions affecting the large intestine. Diverticulosis is where the intestine, the large intestine, the colon, has been irritated at some point and the irritation causes a bloating or a distension. Most patients with diverticulosis have no symptoms or complications, according to the American Society of Colon and Rectal Surgeons. But the older you get, the more likely you are to have them. Age clearly plays a role on it. So if you're 40 and up, you're way more likely to have it than if you're under 40. If you cross over 70, it's almost a guarantee that it's there. These balloon-like pockets can form and be small or larger in size. A person can have just one or several at a time. Most often, these pockets or diverticula are discovered through a routine screening, such as a colonoscopy. So when you cross from diverticulosis into diverticulitis, the itis family, right? Now you got a fire. Now you got one of those pockets that's become very inflamed and super irritated. Those pockets or pouches are a safe haven for bacteria to hide out. Stuff can get up in there, bacteria mainly, can get up in there and if they get into it too far and they start to breed inside there, then that little can spread and the pouch can get bigger and bigger and bigger. If it lances, it'll leak into the body and you got peritonitis. Seek medical attention immediately if you notice blood in your stool or have a fever of more than 100.4. Also call your doctor if you're nauseous, vomiting or have chills, and if you develop sudden belly or back pain. So they're gonna hit it with antibiotics most of the time. They might put a steroid down there periodically to see surgery becomes an option if you end up having a rupture or you've got two or three of these things that are leaking or on the verge of breaking and poisoning the body. According to Dr. McCaffrey, pain on your left side can also be cause for concern. That is the site of a person's descending colon. In his practice, he works with patients to target why diverticular disease happens in the first place, like years of unhealthy eating, or if they're having trouble digesting their food. In a more natural, holistic world, you would improve the diet, you'd improve digestion. I would run an IUP, which is that urine test that tells you what's the body holding on to and what's it throwing away, because whatever it's throwing away is what's going down in there and going. So you can know these things, help the body fix it and see if it won't patch the repair and heal everything up.